So if Hans Niemann can make a road to world champion, why can't I make a road to chess master? Now I'm far far away from it, as you can see by my ratings, I'm probably not gonna make it soon, but I just like playing, so in this series you might analyze some games, maybe check some puzzles, we can check out a chess book, I don't know, let's just jump in. Welcome guys to day 8 of our Road to Masters. Now today we're just gonna play a normal rapid game and uh, see how it goes. Now, okay, I'm rated about 2043 here on chess.com and we face actually an international master, a woman international master from Bangladesh. Okay, so just a little side note, as I was editing this video, I just checked my opponent and turns out Rani Amid is actually the GOAT of the female Bangladesh chess players. As you can see, she has been the national champion about 20 times and most recently at the age of 75. Like that's insane. Nowadays she is 79 years old at the time I played this game with her. And uh, yeah, okay, she's uh, getting out of form, right? She's, uh, she's very old, but uh, that's still amazing to get to play with such a legend. So after E4, she replies with uh, with D5 and goes into the Scandinavian. Now here, okay, here I'll just play, I'll just play the standard line. I'll exchange the pawn, her queen comes into the center, I'll attack her queen. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Now this opening is uh, uh, not the the best try technically against uh, e4. But I'm not really a master yet, so I don't know how to punish it that well. Now, with that said, uh, in this position, it's clear I have to I have to play move like maybe d4. If if I play knight here, uh, uh, yeah, I'll just play d4. This is, I think this is all, always a, a useful move in the Scandinavian. The only problem is that I can't let this pawn stay weak, but. Um, Apart from that, I think it's fine. Now, uh, I think, I think, I think I'll play bishop c4. Now, if I play knight f3, the bishop just comes spinning. But if I play bishop c4, uh, then, and then play knight f3, she can't really pin because I sacrifice here. Actually, the knight would be protecting, but in in some lines it it could could work. Uh, okay, so so now she wants to develop the bishop, but she didn't uh, remove her bishop from back here. So now her guy here is closed. That's good. I'm 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 expecting this eventually. This knight comes out. I'll just castle. Then maybe bishop e3. Okay, so a6 clearly preparing b5. I might have to play a4. Sure, I, I will give this, uh, this square to, to the knight, but I don't think it's that, that bad. Okay, so indeed we have bishop e7. Uh, now what? I would really love to play this. Uh, but obviously the queen just takes. And playing g3 to prepare this seems to just weaken my king for no reason. So... Um, uh, I'll just play, I guess, rook here. Uh, I think it's okay. Then maybe bishop here. I This move is a bit annoying though. So maybe I'll first prevent it. Uh, 
and then after something like this now bishop e3 reinforcing the pawn here there's no problems here because my queen here is protected by by the rooks and and also the horse so my pieces are now getting into the game while a light squared bishop here still has some problems maybe b6 bishop b7 uh, I don't know what should I do next maybe queen e2 bring the rook exactly so or queen d2 queen d2 bishop b7 bishop f4 queen b4 bishop here e5 Eh, I don't like it that much. But, 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 but what? Here, let's, let's play Queen E2. Knight here can come eventually also. Maybe someday I can put pressure on this pawn. And now can I go here? Because queen b4 is coming. Now nah, I think queen b4, bishop b3, knight a5 is annoying. Really, really annoying. I think I can go here. It seems weird. Maybe this isn't the right plan. But I'm thinking uh, queen b4 to meet it with knight a2. And and uh, if the knight comes to a5, I always have this square for for my bishop. That was my plan. But uh, what can she do now? Maybe c5? c5 takes... takes no, nah, c5 doesn't seem correct. Exactly. Queen here, I thought I would go here. But maybe even here. Because then I'm, I'm putting the the bishop on, on the line of the queen. Maybe I have some discoveries. If the queen goes here. If I, if the knight goes here, I don't see anything that productive. So I'll just pull my my bishop back. Uh. Now, here, I might have just blundered. Because I thought... I thought I could take this pawn. And I'm not going to ruin... Uh, not going to stop... Not going to take with the pawn, just to, just for to grab a pawn. <laughs> what can I do? Okay, I think we can go for some activity here, maybe. So, if queen takes, which is probably about to happen, I'm going to play knight here. And I'm going to try to create an attack here. Because my bishops now at least seem pretty, pretty active. Okay, I'm sorry, but that move doesn't seem right. Uh, 
What if I go here? My my bishop here is protected. I couldn't take the knight because simply queen takes. That's logical. But what about this move? I only have three minutes. Um, but yeah, this move. Where's the queen going? Queen has to go like here. I don't see any other option. But now knight takes. Bishop takes. Bishop takes. Pawn takes. Can I sacrifice the rook? Well, well, what? Let's try to go for this. Okay, I have to take there. And uh, now what? I will take. Take here, and with the with the two bishops here, come on, it, something has to be right for me. Something has to be right. Actually, worst case, I just have rook d one, knight moves, and then I play a discovered here. Uh, yes, Cause... okay. So let me see. Let me calculate this. Takes, takes. And now the king is just escaping. So maybe a rook, a rook here. A uh, rook here, knight here. Then queen takes, and I think I'm. I could be worse. Maybe I could have sacrificed. Sure. But now it feels like my attack is coming relatively fast okay this move i just just don't understand it seems like it blunders the game what is happening here can't i just go here attack the knight knight moves bishop takes rook takes queen then rook here and i'm confused Knight has no really good checks. Um, yeah. So the knight cannot move. If the knight moves, it's pretty much game over. Wait, the knight can move here. That's a bit annoying, I think. Then d4. I don't care. I'm gonna go for d4. <laughs> Maybe it blunders. Blunders to queen here. Really? Just for that? Wow. Truth is, I don't really have a lot of time, so. What's the idea here? Try to push the, the queen side pawns, maybe? But my attack here, what is happening? Okay. Here it takes. Uh, that's a good move. 
However, what about this? Okay, I need to play fast. If rook here, she, sim she simply takes the rook, so I'll just go here. Don't think I'm blundering any check. Probably king will run. But then I just... I want to get rid of this pin, but I can't. Okay. Uh, here is actually is actually a good try. Also, maybe. Oh, I I can just go here and here. What am I doing? And it, and it's. What can she do? Does she have any check? Because if the king tries to go back here, queen has no way to protect. What is happening? Okay, no, but let's just game over. Okay, I think we just beat the, the first master in the series. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I definitely messed up, but let's take a look at the game. So, okay, the 92 accuracy, pretty reasonable. Let's see. Okay, so we have the Scandinavian, like I said. H3 was in inaccuracy. Apparently b3, oh b3, something like this, because my bishop isn't the best, my best piece, but this bishop here, 94, okay, I respect that, here, okay, still suggesting 94, okay, and here the position is already equal, knight before here I didn't even consider, I really don't understand this move. Maybe to prepare c5. Maybe someday this will be weak. Probably. Okay. Uh, instead of b3, I should have just gone here. Okay. Now, all that I said just happens. And actually, taking this pawn is, is not a good idea. <laughs> exactly because of my wow okay so my plan was actually very good wow i'm impressed with myself so okay wow g4 also was g4 the best d4 was the best move okay oh also rookie three oh my god i'm i'm proud of myself okay uh and here, yeah, here just loses the game. Okay, so I think I could have just maybe improved a little bit on the opening. With b3 and uh, perhaps h3 back here. But apart from these two moves, oh, I think I'm clearly making progress. So, uh, yeah, that was a pretty interesting game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. Let me just go back to the other screen. And um, yeah, catch you in the next one. Bye.